and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zane. It is time for dessert, one of my absolutely favorite things to make. And this one is gonna knock your socks off and anyone that you give it to try. When you make this for somebody, never tell them what the main ingredient is until they've tried it. Because we're gonna make a choc orange parfait that's based on, you guessed it, avocado, yum yum. All we need to do is pop the two avocados straight into the blender jug. So we're using the Optimum 9900 today. If you'd like to get your own Optimum 9900, just pop down to the details below and click through to your local Fruity website and you'll be able to order one from there. We're gonna pop in some sweetener of your choice. I prefer coconut nectar, so coconut nectar goes in, but you can use agave syrup if that's something that you uh, like to use. Personally, my research has shown me that agave syrup is highly processed, as highly processed as high fructose corn syrup, and in most cases, it's not actually raw. So there you go. We've popped in a little bit of raw cacao powder. Raw cacao powder is amazing. Rich in antioxidants, absolutely beautiful flavor. That's real chocolate at its finest. I'm gonna pop in one and a half teaspoons of um, grated orange zest. So I just grated that straight off the orange. I'm also gonna pop in, and this is not in, this recipe is a Judita Welt Wagnall recipe, straight from her cookbook. I absolutely love her. It doesn't have salt in it, but I'm gonna add a couple of pinches of salt. It just brings out the flavor a little bit more so that's a little extra from me and all we need to do now is pop that straight onto the cushion make sure it's securely in place pop the lid on I guarantee that I'm going to have to use a tamper for just a second so I'm going to remove the lid plug place the tamper in the top now when you are using the tamper remember only use it for 30 to 60 seconds and then remove it it can build up extra heat in the food that you're cooking so what in the food that you're blending we don't want to cook it okay here we go flick it on That's great. Now it's mixed almost all the way through. Actually, I'd say it's pretty much done, but what I'm gonna do just to make sure, because I put the cacao in last and really I should have popped it in first, is just scrape down the sides a little bit and stir it through and then pop it straight back onto the 9900. Remember to please take note, I'm not using this on high speed. You don't need to go up all the way. This is such a powerful blender that you don't need to use it on high speed. Can I taste it? High speed all the time. Oh my God. Choc orange, that is great. Choc orange should be compulsory for everybody. If you don't like choc orange, you have to go down the bottom and make a comment below and tell me what you would prefer in here. Another option would be choc mint. Pop some mint leaves in there. Let's have a go, a little bit more blending. That's that really really easy so you can see look at that thick moussey chocolate I'm gonna eat it again mm. thick moussey chocolate in just a couple of seconds no one would ever guess that there's avocado in there so you've got all those healthy fats you've got the antioxidants from the cacao you've got that zing from the orange zest and if you use coconut nectar you're using a healthy raw sweetener I'm gonna pop that aside right now and we're gonna go ahead and make a cashew cream to go with this a nice sweet cashew cream. So I'm going to take a second jug. That jug was the jug from the 9900. This is the jug from the 9200 unit. And I'm going to pop straight into the blender jug about one and a half cups of soaked cashew nuts, some water, a third of a cup of coconut oil. Now if you go to your cupboard and find that your coconut oil, which is amazing, a lot of people think this is not great for you because it's a saturated fat. That's totally untrue. It is absolutely beautiful. It's a medium chain fatty acid. It's full of lauric acid. It's fantastic for your body and I highly recommend that you include it in your diet. And you can include it on your body using it as a moisturizing cream or you can even put it in your hair for a treatment. Lots of great things. I'm gonna put that coconut syrup in here as well. Okay, so lots of coconut products in this one. You can use vanilla essence, but in this case, I've scraped the middle out of a vanilla bean again, which I'm really enjoying doing lately. Again, I'm gonna pop in a tiny bit of Celtic sea salt, and that's all we need. 
for this one. So I'm going to pop the lid straight, uh, the jug straight on the cushion, make sure it's securely and firmly in place. Pop the lid on, make sure we don't redecorate the ceiling. We will need a tamper. Let me reach down the bottom here and grab one. And we'll pop that straight in the hole on top. And then we might turn this one up to about medium. Let's have a look. down to low and then you can take it off the top. Now I really like to make sure that any of my nut cheeses are blended very very smooth. So there we go, nice and smooth. You can see it sticks on the spoon so you can dollop it anywhere that you like and because I've used the vanilla bean you've got those little brown flecks through there. If you used a vanilla extract that wouldn't happen. If you are going to use a vanilla extract though I highly recommend that you make sure that you choose one that doesn't have alcohol in it. So an alcohol free vanilla extract. You're lucky I won't put that one in my mouth at the moment. Here we go. Not wasting any of this chocolate. We're going to scrape it straight off the tamper. Now a lot of you ask me, what do I do with the tamper? There's bits and pieces everywhere. This is what I do with mine. I've got this great little container. Um, you can get one from a local kitchenware store like that. It's one for draining your knives and forks at the sink. I then got a plastic round container from one of the plastic takeout containers and I just sat it in the bottom there. And when I'm using my tamper, I can easily sit it um, behind the blender or on the bench and I don't get it rolling everywhere because so many times people sort of I don't know what to do with that. But pop it straight there, it sets aside nice and easily. All right, let's finish off. This is all you've got to do. How quick and easy is this for a great guest dessert? Take your spoon. Oh, uh oh. Let's see if I can make it look nice now I've done that. You really want to make sure that you don't get too much on the sides here so that it actually looks pretty in the jug. You might even use two spoons, which is what I'm going to do. You catch me licking my finger again. It's so good today, I just can't help myself. Now you can do this in little shot glasses or you can do it in the big glass. I've popped a layer of the chocolate in at the bottom and you can actually go inside there. I'm gonna use a clean tea towel, just actually the back of my tea towel here and just clean around the edges so that this one looks very pretty. You could use a paper towel if you had one on hand. Unfortunately, I don't. There we go. And just clean around the edges so that you can actually see the layering of the chocolate and then the cream. We'll take the other jug. And this one's a little bit more runny so we can pour that one straight on top. So we get a nice little layer of white. Look at that. And then we'll go again with the chocolate. Use the two spoons. It might take you a little second to do it carefully. I'm always very impatient, so I prefer the rustic look, that's what I call it anyway. Here we go. I want to get that beautiful food out there so people can taste it. And, and look, you're going to be so surprised at how tasty and how rich that chocolate orange actually is. So we can say thanks to Jadita Wagnall for this absolutely wonderful recipe in her cookbook. Um, and if you have a recipe that you'd like to see made, make sure you go down below to the comments and make a comment because we're absolutely happy to make what you'd like to see here on the Fruity TV channel. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the Fruity TV channel today. So let me clean up the edge of that glass there. Again, a paper towel would do that just nicely. I've got that layered into the cup there so you can see the little layers coming through. And then on top, a tiny little bit of orange. You could use a mint leaf or of your choice depending on what you are and enjoy. You need a long handled spoon and some guests for this one. So uh, that's all for today. Ciao for now and I look forward to seeing you in our next show.